I'm your Beeville neighborhood news reporter Adam Beam. Football season here in the Coastal Bend is looking a little different this year since head coach Chris Souza retired. We caught up with Coach Souza to see what he's been up to since putting down the playbook. Some of the Beeville stuff was, was playing for me. Here's brother, son, and dad. Coach Chris Souza looks back at his football legacy. My family, uh, here's my son, you know, Justin and my ball boy, Eric. He's had many titles during his long career, coach, athletic director, but now he's taking on his newest challenge, retirement. My dad always said that when you retire, that, you know, every day is a Saturday except for Sunday. Souza began his career coaching in Palacios, Texas, and since that initial coaching gig has made a name for himself in the Coastal Bend. I mean, my dad was so proud of me. Uh, he told me, he said, son, I'm proud of you, but don't you ever forget. He said, don't you ever forget where you came from, your roots. Souza is recognizable to sports fans in Beeville for his multiple seasons as head coach and athletic director. During his time with the Beeville Trojans, he earned a milestone, his 200th career victory. But when reflecting on his accomplishments, it was coaching alongside his family that made him most proud. Uh, Felicia and Eric were my ball boy and girl. Uh, some good friends that, that were still with me here, that, that, that followed me here, you know, they were there with me and we shared that experience together. But as the 2023 football season came to an end, Souza was faced with a tough decision. I, I think I've accomplished a lot, um, been blessed in my career. But just because he's retired doesn't mean he's too far from coaching. For one, Souza may have left the field, but another is kicking off their season in Rockport. And so I'm happy for him and, um, I know he's going to do well. He won, they won the first game last week against Orange Grove, so that's going to, that was pretty special too. So, Despite keeping himself busy, there is one thing Souza misses most of all. What I miss is the camaraderie with the coaches. You know, we, you know, this time of the year, you spend seven days with each other. It's hard work, but it's fun. Coach Souza says he is grateful for his years of coaching, but is happy to be cheering from the stands. In Beeville, I'm your neighborhood news reporter, Adam Beam, Chris 6 News.